been one of those days. Clearly, it's been one of those days. I just don't feel motivated, feel a little burnt out, and I just don't want to cook right now. But your girl's gotta eat. Preheat the oven to 450. Throw any leftover vegetable that you have into a bowl. I don't even feel like chopping these. Just add your olive oil. It does nutritional says season with your heart. We're already halfway done. Pour it onto a pan. I mean, baking sheet. Ooh, I'm so tired. We're having salmon because it's good for brain health. And clearly I need it. More season. Gonna put in a little work and cut up a lemon right on top. All right, veggies, make some room. And then bake it for 13 minutes. I also have my carbs because I always batch cook my grains on a Sunday. And just like that, I made a perfectly balanced dinner in 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna sit and eat it on my floor because I still don't have any furniture. Let's make some dinner. And no, we're not following a recipe, we're just gonna kinda wing it. Okay, I have some chicken breast and then some dairy-free borzen that we're gonna stuff the chicken with. I've also heard that this is like the most a like dairy free cheese to like its original, so let's try it. Oh, that is so good and tastes the exact same. I love Borzen. First, I cut my chicken in half and then I season them with these seasonings. Next, we are just filling our chicken with the cheese. And we're actually gonna air fry these babies. Next, we're making this Trader Joe's sweet potato gnocchi, just as it says on the package. We're also gonna do a little Caesar salad kit. Once the chicken was done, I just topped it with some red sauce and some mozzarella, and I'm gonna put it back in for a few more minutes. And here we have it. Now with the try chicken, a little gnocchi. Mm. All right, guys, it's 11 p.m. I just got home from work, and I'm going to show you how I make a super fast, healthy, and delicious dinner right when I get home. First, I get a bowl to make some edamame. I eat both shelled or regular, so today I'm doing regular. Then I just microwave it for about five minutes till it gets super cooked. Okay, while the edamame is in, this is when I start cooking on the stove. So first things first, a pan and some heat. Okay, then I take these sliced onions from Whole Foods, that comes from sliced, put some in the pan, and then, okay, the whole, the whole thing can fall out. Okay, but I just keep it in the freezer basically so that it lasts a lot longer, and then I just let it sit off and cook, and that's the first thing in the pan. The next thing I use is these mushrooms from Trader Joe's. So good. They just have olive oil, garlic, and parsley, and they're amazing. So I'll just put some of these guys in. I love them, so they put a lot. Alright, now it's been cooking for a little bit. I'm going to use these lentils from Trader Joe's also. This is in the refrigerator section. Last forever, and they're already pre-cooked and delicious. I already have an open one, so I'm just going to pour some of these lentils into this mix. And I like to make it crispy, so I just put the fire on super high and just keep tossing it around, basically. Also, my edamame is ready now. The bowl is super hot, but I'll just keep snacking on this now while this is getting ready, so I'm not, like, grabbing random things. Okay, it's starting to get super crispy, so now I'm just going to put some spinach on it. Like that good. And then I'll just cover it so it gets get super soggy and then mix it all together. Okay, I just finished all my edamame, so I rinse out the bowl so I can just use the same bowl. Super easy. Wow. Here is our food. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, now I can put it all into this bowl. This is seriously so good. You can add any seasoning. I put salsa, hot sauce, lime. Lemon is really good in it. Nutritional yeast. You basically name any kind of spice or thing to enhance it. It's delicious. Actually, because we're talking lemon, I am going to squeeze some because it makes it like adding citrus to things is so freaking good. Okay, now just mix it all together and you have like the best dinner ever. All right, it's 11.15. That literally took no time. I have this. I'll probably eat an orange and an apple after. Grab a poppy, but enjoy this. So good. Go make it. We're all on a budget, have minimal time, and still want to eat well. So let's see. It is 7.32. I'll let you know how long it takes to finish this meal. I'm starting with some protein pasta. My water is already boiling. I'm just going to add this whole pot, and now I'm going to prep the fish. 
I love to buy the frozen mahi mahi from Costco, but like I said, we're on a budget. And this barramundi was on special. So it looks like it should taste similarly to the mahi mahi. And then um, I use this Olive Garden dressing that I also get at Costco. And when I bake this in the oven, my husband refers to it as butter sauce. So if he thinks I'm making butter sauce, then that's good for me because it sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not. So when it comes to tracking this type of uh, recipe, I kind of estimate the amount of uh, dressing that I end up having on my fish. I had some turkey bacon in the fridge that needed to be used. So let me show you a little trick. I like to cook my veggies in the air fryer. And so I am actually going to cook my green beans with the bacon. I'm gonna put them right on top of it and that is going to give the green beans a nice flavor. So right on top of my turkey bacon on my air fryer trays, I'm going to put my green beans. When the green beans have cooked a bit, I spritz them with just a bit of coconut oil and that is going to help my garlic powder uh, stick to them. This little um, sprayer, I have several of them. I have one for my coconut oil and one for my avocado oil and one for my olive oil. And it helps you get just enough oil so that you're not dousing your food, but getting just what you need. It's in my, um, if you check out my bio in the link, there's an Amazon store. You'll find it under kitchen essentials because it's essential. 13 minutes at 375 and it looks perfect. To flavor my pasta, I'm adding the butter sauce to the pasta and I'm just gonna stir that up. So I've decided with my meal, I'm gonna go ahead and track two servings of the Italian dressing because I have it on the fish and in the pasta. So here we go. I added sweet potato to my plate because I love them, but you can see the fish, the pasta, the green beans, the bacon, and it is 8.02. Here's my favorite healthy dinner ideas that help me to stay in my best shape. Classic, but always good, and I love to improvise with a salad every time I make it. I love eating salmon for dinner because omega-3 and proteins really satisfy me. You can go for stuffed peppers with rice, chicken, or meat, and tomato paste. They're delicious. If you don't feel like cooking tonight, just make a quick omelet, but I would add some olive oil or avocado on a side as a source of healthy fats. If you don't want to wash any pans or plates, just make a quick protein shake, and here's my favorite recipe for you. Let's make some dinner. This is actually one of my all-time favorite recipes that I make to help me lose weight. First thing I'm doing is cutting an onion, which it actually looks a little moldy. I'm gonna cut that off. 
Why I'm most excited to show you this recipe is because I actually get to use two of my favorite kitchen gadgets. The first one is this chopper, which is also a mandolin. It was, I think, 30 bucks on Amazon, but look, dice onions. I can dice this entire onion in literally seconds. If you don't have one of these, you are probably wasting hours of your life chopping. Look at that. I'm gonna cook some ground turkey. Second favorite kitchen gadget is this meat masher. Make sure that you season your meat while you're cooking it. I'm gonna saute onions in here. I also have some sliced mushrooms. I actually want to see if they'll go in the chopper if I can dice them up a little bit smaller. It's a little sticky. I think it would work. Yeah, definitely. I drained the ground turkey. Two jars of Rouse. Rouse? Is that how you say it? Marinara? It's good. No sugar added. <sighs> Add the basil. While the sauce is simmering behind me, I am going to cut up this spaghetti squash. So I actually made enough sauce to last a very long time and for more than this squash. So I'm going to keep this separate and I'm probably going to use the sauce maybe for lunches and I'll actually do like my bonza pasta. At nighttime though, my meals are typically 75% vegetables, 25% protein. So I have my protein in the sauce. My veggies are tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, and spaghetti squash. There you have it, spaghetti squash, spaghetti. This is one of my absolute favorite dinners. It's a one pot recipe and it's packed with veggies. Start by slicing some turkey kielbasa. I always give the ends to my dogs. And you'll add this to your frying pan with a little bit of oil. While that's cooking, you'll cut up half of a white onion and then add that to the mixture as well. Then start cutting your veggies. I did a full squash, zucchini, two red peppers, and some mushrooms. And this veggie chopper is an absolute saver. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. So just go to mealsandmunchies.com or click the link in my profile. But once your sausage has some color, you'll add in all your veggies and mix it all up and then season. I'm using some dashed garlic and herb. And then add in a can of diced tomatoes. Mix it up and then you'll add half a box of bowtied pasta, one cup of milk, and about a cup to a cup and a half of chicken broth. Mix and try to mostly cover the noodles, but they don't have to be fully covered. Bring this to a simmer and cover it. Stir it every once in a while while it's cooking, and then when the noodles are cooked, you're gonna add in some shredded cheddar cheese. And follow me for more easy recipes. It's been a hot minute since I did a dinner idea, 
but I have such a good one that we started making this summer. And if you know P.F. Chang's Honey Chicken, it's like a healthy version of that one. It's seriously so good. It's so easy and I make it at least once a week now. Dice chicken breast and cook in a pan with a little olive oil. For the sauce, one cup honey. For TBSP soy sauce, two TBSP water, one TSP toasted sesame oil. One sauce simmers, add to TBSP water to TBSP corn starch mixture. Whisk. After two minutes, it should be thick and look like this. We like adding broccoli. Add sauce to chicken. Then the broccoli. We put it over rice. Good. A healthy, delicious, and easy dinner idea. Cut your chicken breast or tenders into strips. Add the juice of half of a lime and season with taco seasoning and Cajun seasoning. Cook that in oil. Then you'll cook up some peppers and purple onion, red onion, whatever. Add the juice of half a lime and season with tahini. Cook your tortillas in the same skillet. You can top your fajitas however you'd like. I use some Greek yogurt for a sour cream replacement to make it even healthier. And I'm not kidding you when I say these are the best fajitas I've ever had. So good. Make sure you follow me for more easy and healthy recipes. I'm making a healthy tortellini bake for dinner. I start by using the cheese and spinach tortellinis and I boil them in salt water for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I browned some ground turkey and I seasoned it with Italian seasoning and pepper. I, I then did not realize I was filming right now, so this is me. Um, anyways, add some diced tomatoes once the turkey's done. Then you will add a half a can of marinara sauce. I use the tomato, basil, garlic kind. Then I added a couple handfuls of baby spinach and don't worry, it will shrink down as it cooks. Mix it together and then I use laughing cow cheese, the garlic and herb kind. You could use the whole thing of it. I used about five wedges. Mix it all up and then add it to a greased dish. And then by that time your tortellini is done. Um, I drained it, I just didn't film that part. So mix it all together and then you are going to add some shredded Parmesan cheese and some shredded, er, some shredded mozzarella cheese um, and then you'll bake it until the cheese is melted. This was a big nope when I realized how heavy it was. Uh, but then you're done and it's really healthy and really good. I'm making a simple and healthy chicken stir fry and here's how to do it. Cook two to three chicken breasts however you want. I used an air fryer and I seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. You'll then let your chicken cook and while that's cooking, grab a skillet, add some sesame oil or whatever oil you want, add in one chopped onion, then you will add two crowns of broccoli or a bag of already pre-cut broccoli, then add some shredded carrots, then add some soy sauce and teriyaki sauce to taste. I then seasoned with pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. I didn't add salt because the sauces already had enough salt in them. While that continues to cook, you can cook your rice. I did the simple microwave bag rice because it was easier. I used two bags, but you could easily just use one bag if you wanted. Mix that all in and then create some space to scramble some eggs. So I cracked in three eggs here and cooked that. And once my eggs were cooked, I mixed everything all up together. I then added some more sauce. I used stir fry sauce here. And by this time, my chicken was done, so I added that in and mixed it all up together. And this was my very easy and healthy chicken stir fry. The best Chipotle chicken marinade. It tastes just like Chipotle. 
In whatever kind of blender that you own, add one can of chipotle's and abdabo sauce, one tablespoon of garlic, fill up that empty can with some chicken broth and dump that into the blender. Cut a decent sized onion in half and then cut that into quarters and just throw that right into the blender. Trust me, ladies, we got this. Now, I'm not good at measurements. I measure from the heart. This is a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And you guessed it, a half a teaspoon of salt and another half a teaspoon of pepper. Screw that lid on nice and tight. I'm using a Ninja Bullet. You can use whatever type of blender you have, whether it's a food processor, regular blender, whatever, it all works. You blend that shit up nice and right. Now this marinade is a paste and this is what it should look like after you're done blending it up. You can use this marinade on whatever kind of chicken that you have, whether it's chicken breast, chicken wings, but here I am using chicken thighs. This recipe makes a lot of marinade. This was only eight thighs, but I'm sure you could use this marinade for at least 12 to 15 thighs. Make sure that chicken is coated in that marinade, pop that bitch in the fridge, and forget about it for at least 24 hours. The next day, I grilled up that chicken, made tacos out of it, and that's how I make. Okay, I have another really good dinner idea. This is one of our newer favorites but ever since we started making it now we make it every single week and it is super simple and like not complicated at all but it is like easy ingredients so it's cheap and then my favorite part about it all is that it makes enough servings that you can eat it for dinner and then there's like enough that you can put in containers for the rest of the week and eat it for lunch start cooking ground turkey dice peppers and add to ground turkey Drain and rinse one can of black beans. Add corn. Mix her up. Add taco seasoning. One package is perfect. Let simmer until everything is fully cooked. We put it on top of brown rice. If you have jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's, it tastes amazing on this too. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't have. Okay, you're annoyed. You guys are gonna love my healthy butter chicken recipe. It's so easy to make and you can make it gluten-free, dairy-free and vegan as well. All you wanna do is marinate your chicken in yogurt, lemon juice and spices. Cook it in a pan with some light butter, add tomatoes, light cream, season with salt and pepper, serve it with rice. It's only 350 calories plus your rice and it's perfect for meal prep. 